Here I'm given data that represent my annual salary for the first four years of my current job. I'm going to notice that the inputs are time in years and that they increment by one. I'm also going to notice that the output is S in thousands of dollars. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a minute and actually write out what these numbers are so that we don't have to do conversions when we do our work for the problem. So all I did was just multiply each of the values in the output row by a thousand and that gives us the actual numbers that we're working with. So in part A I'm asked to identify the vertical intercept. Well that is the specific ordered pair where the input quantity is zero. So I'm going to look at my table and see that when the input is zero the output is 20,100. As meaning to that order pair, what it means is that when I start my job, my salary is $20,100. So I'm going to take a minute and write that in the space here. So in words then written out, when I start my job, my annual salary is $20,100. So again, I'm relating the input quantity, which is zero, with the output quantity of $20,100. The second part B, determine the average rate of change during the four year time period. Well, average rate of change, I'm going to denote that as AROC. In this case, that's going to be change in S, that's change in salary, change in output, divided by change in time, change in input. So if I'm looking at the four year period, I'm comparing the last ordered pair with the first ordered pair and I'm computing the change in salary which is 22,100 minus my initial salary 20,100 divided by my change in years which is 4 minus 0. In the numerator then I have a difference of 2,000 divided by a difference in years of four and that's 500 as a division. The units are dollars per year. Very important. So that is my average rate of change over that four year period. To verify the data are linear, I'm going to pick another ordered pair and verify that I get the same result that I got here. So I chose the ordered pair 1 comma 20,600 and the ordered pair 3 comma 21,600. To compute the average rate of change, I'm going to take the difference in salary, starting with this ordered pair, the second ordered pair, divided by the difference in time. That gives me 1,000 over 2, which is the same $500 per year that I obtained in Part B. So to determine then that the data are exactly linear, I'd have to use this process for all combinations of the ordered pairs. But I can scan my data, and again, I can see that my inputs are separated by 1. My outputs, if I look down here, are all separated by 500. So indeed, I'm going to get a constant rate of change for this uh, data set, meaning that my data are exactly linear. So to write the linear function model for the data, I'm going to start with what we know, which is y equals mx plus b. And I'm going to substitute in the information that we found in the problem namely that M is 500 and B is 20,100. So if I do that, I get Y equals 500X plus 20,100, but that is not using the variables for the problem and it's not in proper function notation. So to give my final result, I'm going to use the variable from the problem, the input T, output S, so S of T equals 500 T plus 20,100, and that is my linear function model for the given data.